been seeing a lot of stories recently about the death of the, what they call 60-40 investment portfolio. And by that, they mean an investment portfolio that's made up of about 60% stocks and 40% bonds. Now, that's also called asset allocation. And for these stories that come out that say 60-40 portfolio is dead, are, to me, means the saying asset allocation is dead, which I completely uh, disagree with. And the reason we're seeing a lot of these stories now is that 2022 was a bad year uh, for both stocks and bonds. Uh, stocks and bonds were both down and both down pretty substantially. Um, looking back, having stocks and bonds down together in the same year is a very rare occurrence. Uh, last time I saw stocks and bonds being down together was 1980. So over 40 years ago was the last time something like this has happened. And the reason typically that we see uh, stocks and bonds perform differently in different market environments is they have what they call a negative correlation, meaning when one's doing well, typically the other isn't doing as well and vice versa. Um, and that's typically the way they act. Obviously, there's always outliers, years when both stocks and bonds go up. There are years, not many, but when both go down. But typically what you're going to see is when one's doing well, the other's not so well and, and vice versa. So what that does is create a lot of stability in the portfolio. So asset allocation is, is so important, uh, especially if you're retired and you're living off your assets need to make sure that the portfolio is as stable as can be, yet giving you some growth over time. Now, if you're young in your 20s, 30s, and you're just you're saving for retirement, wanting that money to grow as much as possible, the, the, uh, the volatility shouldn't matter as much. But like I said, the closer you get to retirement and when you're in retirement, you really need to have a good asset allocation uh, to limit the volatility as much as possible. In fact, a lot of studies have been done that say absent anything else, your asset allocation is going to be the biggest deter uh, determinant of how well your investment portfolio uh, does. So, you know, that said, there are other ways to add diversification or other ways to allocate your portfolios, which we've certainly done. You can add uh, what they call alternatives into the portfolios. That could be something like precious metals or real estate or commodities. Um, a lot of those investments also have some negative correlations to stocks and bonds. So again, just adding another layer of stability into the portfolio. So that makes a lot of sense as well. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, based on your risk tolerance and your time frame, your asset allocation is an extremely important part of the success of your portfolio. Um, of course, nobody knows what the future um, has or holds for us. So the best way to do that is to hedge against unforeseen events um, through asset allocation. So if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. And always, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.